let's move on now to question number seven. So this one's asking us a pH of six is how many times more acidic than pH of nine. Okay. So this is gonna be <sighs> Well, sorry about that. So exactly. So for this question here, the way we approach it is that we need to know our formula, which is, is given us to us there. But this is one of the formulas I do recommend memorizing because it does come up often when dealing with acids and bases. So we have pH is equal to negative log of hydronium. Okay? So when this type of question is asking how many times more acidic, it's trying to ask you how many times more of this stuff does it have compared to that? Because it's not asking you what the pH difference is because then you just say, oh, it's three times more acidic and that would actually be incorrect. The goal here actually would be to now flip this equation over to where now you're solving for that H3O. And if you remember your logarithmic rules, the way you do that is it would be, just to make sure I understand, you move the negative over there, so it'd be negative pH is equal to log of H3O, okay? And then we know that this is going to be the base 10. So in order to now get rid of that, we have to now put everything to the power of 10. But make sure you put it in the right spot. So it'd be 10 to the power of all this. And then this would cancel out. So then now we're left with, well, if we switch it over, just make it more sense. The concentration of H3O, aka how many times more acidic, is equal to 10 to the power of negative pH. Okay? So now that we do that, um, we're actually going to see now how much more uh, one pH is than the other. Because once we find out the pH of 6, what it translates to, to the H3O, we find that out for the pH of 9, and then we divide 6 over 9 to see how many times more does it actually, you know, overcome it. So let's see here. 10 to the power of, sorry, 10 to the power of negative 6. We have a very small 0. 0. 0.000001. Hopefully I counted that right. 3, 4, 5, 6. Yep. So that's 10 to the negative 6. Go to that. And 10 to the negative 9 is equal to. Zero point zero 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 nine. Well, one, because you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So then now we divide the six by the nine to find out how much six is stronger than nine. So we have the zero point or one times ten to the negative six divided by one times ten to the negative nine. And you'll see that you should get an answer of 1,000. Okay? So at first glance, you would think that, oh, it's just like maybe three times or something. Remember that because we're dealing in the exponential and logarithmic scale, each, I guess, increment by one on the pH is a change by 10 times. And because we changed three levels, that's how we're able to go from 10 to 100 to 1,000 times more acidic. So this pH of six is a thousand times more acidic than the pH of nine, okay? And you can see here exactly, they flipped the formula over, which is what we got, and then we, they got these two values, and when you divide them together, that's the ratio you get. So this is correct. So now we move on to question eight.